School. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. We finally, a week late, sometimes it's like that, we finally have a new dramatic play set up. It was supposed to be our April set up. Half of April we were gone anyway. It was spring break. Technically it's still April. Oh, yes. We made See? it in just under the okay. wire. <laughs> Only just. It is still April, but it'll probably run into the first week of May too. We're doing the best we can. And we wanted to share with you our flower shop dramatic play setup. Yesterday, we were trying to answer some of your questions about how we store all of our dramatic play props, and we appreciate all those comments, so thank you guys. Um, we are still not showing you our closet. I'm glad they didn't say we were hoarders. <laughs> no, but people were like, if I show you my closet, will you show me yours? And I'm, It's not gonna happen. It's, no. Did anyone find that picture on Instagram? No, I think it's gone. I think it was not, a, I don't know where it was. Oh, funny. I think it might have magically disappeared. <laughs> anyway, our new dramatic place setup is a flower shop. It is perfect for spring. It's good around Valentine's Day and it's good around Mother's Day. Really any time in the spring, a flower shop is a hit with our preschool students. The thing that I like best about this one is I honestly got everything at the dollar store. The dollar store, when she walks in, they're like, hey, Jamie. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> There's one guy, he totally knows my name. <laughs> I'm not proud. And um, so all of the flowers, the vases, the tissue paper, the ribbons, the um, watering cans, the gardening gloves, the um, everything, just everything. every single thing is from the dollar store. So we're going to give you some tips and tricks about um, how we have it set up and also a few like handy hints about how to set up the uh, dollar store flowers so they don't fall apart. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and we'll try to answer them. I have a question for them. Oh, I'm in for me. No, see you. Why did you wait till we went on Facebook? The question's for them. Does every country in the world, the people who watch us, do they have an equivalent of the dollar store? Oh, that's a good question. Thank you. I mean, I wonder if, because didn't someone from Australia say they went to the dollar, what was, I can't remember. Dollarama. <laughs> Dollarama. Is that the same? Do y'all have a dollar store? And I think in England there's a pound stretcher. But I don't know if that's the same or if that was just from where I was from. But there's a pound stretcher. Ours is called the Dollar Tree, so chime in with your favorite dollar, dollar store. Tree. There's also a Dollar General. But then not everything is dollar in there. In Dollar General? Mm -hmm. well, that's a... My mom knows all about these things because really? she loves the dollar stores when she comes over. There's so much fun to look at. You have a pound shop. Pound shop. Okay, pound shop. Pound... That doesn't have the same ring as the dollar store, does it? I don't know. A pound, pound shop. shop. But it probably more than a dollar, right? Call it a dollar store in England because we don't have any dollars. That's true. But I okay. just wondered about like South Africa and Canada and I don't know. Sorts of, and where do y'all go for your cheap where stuff? Do you go? <laughs> just a question. Just I was just, just a question. Go ahead and answer that. You don't that. have to answer that if you don't want to. I just was curious. That's a good question. Carry on with I'm the show. Flip, <laughs> I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you a little tour of our flower shop dramatic play area. Here goes. All right, so the flower shop is set up in our kitchen uh, home living area, just like all of our dramatic play areas. We have an open and closed sign, which the kids love to um, flip open in the morning, and then when we clean up at the end of the day, they always turn it to close. That's or really if we're cleaning up in the middle, one of them will come and flip it open to close. We're closed, we have to clean up. That's true. Um, and then what we have set up here are four different types of flowers. And you could really use any type of flowers. Uh, we like to sort them by color. So these were four that they had at my dollar store. And we have them labeled with fake prices. And so this is kind of like the ordering area. One of the things that we do for all of our dramatic play areas is, or setups, is to put uh, role play name tags. So here for the flower shop, we've got customers, delivery people, what else? Florist, um, cashier. We always have a manager. We always have a manager whether you have a label for it or not. That's true. Somebody's always in charge. Customers. Lots of customers. Delivery, phone orders. Somebody to take the, and a gardener. A gardener. And um, so they can, oh, it's okay. I don't know what we're doing. So they can come up here and order their flowers. And then some of the things, like I said, this is a pretty simple setup that we have uh, our little order, ooh, come on camera. Our little order forms, so they're just tiny little places where the kids can write their orders. And that's really good for literacy and for writing for meaning. We've put some books about flowers. And then over here we've got a ribbon station so they can cut the ribbons and then wrap their flowers up in some tissue paper. 
What else? Tell me or not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's <laughs> Usually, you don't today. have to. You're not being a very uh, involved preschooler here. Oh, nice, nice demonstration. <laughs> so we have some watering cans. Now those might have been from Ikea. I might have lied. I feel like these. Oh, these are from Ikea. Oh, they I say lied. Ikea. They do, but they have, but they have watering cans dollars. at the dollar store. It's just okay. these stack really nice. They do well. stack. <laughs> And then we uh, have vases over here, so if they'd like to arrange their flowers in... <laughs> oh, now she's going to arrange some flowers. If they'd like to arrange their flowers in a plastic vase, they can do that. And then, of course, the cash register is here. So our students, um, before they shop at the flower shop, it's not a perfect system, but our dramatic play, like dress up area, they can come over here and get some money out and get a bag or a purse. I don't know what happened to the baby gear basket. I moved it. Um, his stomach moved it. And, so oh, sorry. So I've got my flowers, I'm gonna... I'm gonna <laughs> Come over here and pay. Here. I guess Fake the pay. Closed, remember? Yeah, so this is a really simple one. You tie ribbons around their vases and... That's good uh, for shoe tying too, to teach them. Wrap them up in tissue paper and put a bow around them. It's, really it's a simple, simple one, right? Yeah. Okay. So unlike a lot of our dramatic players. That one's kind of quick and easy, I guess. Um, but they really enjoy it. Like, don't mind me. Don't mind you. It's just like at the restaurant when you're done eating your food, you can just reshelve it. <laughs> you're done enjoying your flowers, you just put them back for sale again. <laughs> um, it was a quick and easy, it's a quick and easy one to set up. Oh, I did want to show you. Uh, I'm sorry. So we got all the flowers from the dollar store and they come, you know, like three or four, maybe even five to a stem and we just cut them apart. And then because they're from the dollar store, they're really cheap too. Thank you. And so when we first bought them, we just plucked all the flowers off of the stems, put a tiny little dot of super glue, which you can also get at the dollar store and then just stuck them back on. So there's no way these things are coming off. Um, because otherwise the kids will pick, you know, the flowers apart from, they from the steps. And that's fun. That's fun uh, for them. No, it's fun us. for them, not fun for us. So we try to reinforce all of the dollar store stuff. The vase or the pots are from the dollar store. And you can put some of the um, oasis in the bottom. Or if you want to stick the flowers in there. Do you want it oasis? Mm -hmm. okay. Like that foam, craft foam. Yeah. Floral foam. It does get really messy though if you do that because then they start to realize it's in there and they'll stop pulling it out and trimming yeah. it. Yeah, so the kids loved this today. They were making vases of flowers, they were pretending to take phone orders and deliver flowers, and they kept saying, I'm gonna make one for my mom, I'm gonna make a, a, a bouquet for my mom. So we it's gonna show the card station as well. We have we don't oh. actually have that completed set Sorry. up yet. They were making cards yes. to go with their bouquets of flowers, so that's another yeah, that was over yeah. in our literacy. Sorry. It's kind of around the corner, so it wouldn't have been shown in. But we do have a, a place that they can make a card so they can put it with the, the flowers. If yeah. they want to card with the flowers. So we just try to incorporate lots of literacy books and writing and reading and, of course, the um, counting and money concepts as well. So we try to get all the learning in through play, which is always our goal. Mm -hmm. They love this one. I hope that you had a great day playing and learning with your kids, just like we did. If you haven't joined our... LuLaRoe extravaganza group. There's a link for that. It sounds so extravagant. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, there's a link for that in the video description. We would love to see you over there. We will be live not on our Play to Learn page on Friday. We will be live in the um, extravaganza <laughs> group page. And we will be um, showing you or trying on some different LuLaRoe outfits and shirts. This is an Irma. I still don't have okay. any. So. so an Irma's tricky. So it's their big tunic shirt. So I'm not a small person, like five seven. Like I'm like a decent sized person, right? <laughs> and this is an extra small because they run really super big. I think you're gonna have to wear like a toddler size. <laughs> but it's got like really nice fitted arms, and then just like the one from yesterday, look, it covers your. That's I like you things, especially if you're wearing leggings. And if you're with preschoolers and you're on the floor and crawling around, you don't want your shirt to crawl up, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. No. So join us in the LuLaRoe group and we will see you there live on Friday and have a great day. See you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye.